All right, and we are back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. And for the third part of the show, we're going to talk about the latest coaching changes. Um, so there's been a couple, um, you know, uh, def- uh, sorry, I, I can't talk for some reason right now. Uh, so we have a head coaching spot that's been filled. Also a couple of uh, coordinator things that I uh, wanted to touch upon as well. Um Actually, there's one. I, I don't think I, I mentioned this uh, on uh, yesterday's show or the previous show, but uh, the Steelers hiring Arthur Smith as their offensive coordinator. Um, I know my friend who's a Steelers fan is upset about it. Um, I know a Steelers YouTuber that I watch, he was upset about it. Um, but, yeah, so he uh, so obviously he was the Falcons head coach for the last three seasons, uh, went 7-10 and 10 this year. But the, the main thing is, it's just like the people were just questioning why he was... The whole B. John Robinson thing at times during the year where he really wasn't using him. I mean, then you had that weird situation where, you know, against the Bucks where I guess he was sick and he, you know, he was playing, then he wasn't playing, and then they, he came back. I don't know. Was, I, I forget how what happened there, but it just was weird how he just... His usage for uh, B. John Robinson. But, I mean, as a coordinator... You know, with the Titans, you go back, you know, when he was with the Titans, um, you know, kind of revitalized a Ryan Tannehill's career, you know. So, I mean, we'll see what he's like as an as offensive coordinator now with the Steelers. But I know people are just talking about, well, now he's not going to use Fryermuth. He's not going to use George Pickens. Yeah, um, we'll, we'll see. But I know people are complaining about it. Um, so, you know, but that's what the Steelers decided to do. Um, so, I, I know I, I didn't bring that up um during the show but i just wanted to i I know i did a short on it uh but i didn't talk about it um on the show here but the main thing is uh that i wanted to get into is the seahawks hiring mike mcdonald so spent the previous couple seasons with the ravens as their defensive coordinator he's not going to become the youngest head coach in the nfl so you go from Pete carroll who was one of the oldest or i think was the oldest head coach in the nfl to now the youngest head coach in the nfl um but, yeah, I mean, listen, he coached up a top defense in the NFL this season with the Ravens. Um, he actually was with Jim Harbaugh at Michigan for a season. He was the defensive coordinator for Michigan. Um, you know, is a uh, so he's an understudy, having spent seven more seasons on the Ravens defensive staff from 2014 to 2020. Yeah, so they the Seahawks go from the NFL's oldest head coach and the, uh, the oldest head coach to the current youngest coach. Um yeah, and listen, and a lot of people just talking him up, saying this is this is going to be a top coaching, uh, you know, candidate, and now he lands in Seattle, um, you know, and, and we'll see what happens there. Now, for me, again, I kind of am on that side of you need more of an offensive guy, but you then again you go and you look at what the Texans have done, like I said with D'Amico Ryan's, um, you know, it, it it's not to say that defensive guys can't be head coaches, but the way the game is now, um, you know, you kind of want to bring in someone that maybe has, you know, more of an offensive background. But, listen, the Texans, they did a great job. You know, they drafted C.J. Stroud. You know, they have a good offensive coordinator in Slowick. And the, and with D'Amico Ryans as the head coach, being more of a defensive guy, it, it worked out for them. And, you know, in Seattle, their issue is they need to, they need to find a quarterback. Because, it's not, unfortunately for Geno Smith, it was a nice story, but he's not the long-term answer there. He's not. The Seahawks need to. Hey, maybe they bring back Russ. No, um, they need to. They need to address the quarterback position. Um, because you look at the uh, their offensive side of the ball, um, you know, with DK Metcalf and Tyler Lockett and Jackson Smith and Jigba, Kenneth Walker. You know, they uh, they have some nice pieces on the offensive side of the ball. They just need the quarterback, and if they can get the quarterback right, well, you know, then. You bring in, you know, great people to bring to you know help run the offense, and um, you know because I don't think I think you know McDonald's still got to put together a a, uh, a staff, um, I believe, you know he could focus on the defense. Well, obviously being the head coach, but you know defense is a strong suit. You know you help out the defense because the Seahawks have defensive talent as well. Um, you know Witherspoon, their rookie corner. Um, you know, they, um, the Seahawks are not, 
you know, this team that just is, is far away from being, you know, a contender, you know, at least to make the playoffs. Um, you know, they just need, well, they need a quarterback, which again, for some organizations, they've been looking for quarterbacks for years. Um, you know, the Seahawks, they have a good roster. They just need, they just need that quarterback. So they're not far away from being a contender. And listen, they made the playoffs last year. You know, it's, you know, it's not like they, you know, and a lot of people didn't expect them to make the playoffs, but they did. Um, so yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm kind of like on the side of, well, I think you should bring in an offensive guy, but you know what? We'll see what he does. And you, and again, you see what the Texans have been able to do. So, um, again, we'll see how it goes, but, um, you know, it, it's a good hire. Um, I don't think there's really been anything negative towards this hire. Um, so again, we'll see how it goes, but the other thing, so uh, other coordinator stuff, um, the, the Titans, they hired a Denard, uh, Wilson as their defensive coordinator. Uh, so he spent the past season as the Ravens, uh, DB's coach uh, under Mike McDonald. Um, so you would think coming from that staff that, you know, that's a, that's a good hire. Um, Wilson was on Nick Sirianni's staff from 2021 to 2022 and spent time as a DB's coach with the Rams and Jets earlier in his career. Uh, he was a candidate for the, for the Titans and Giants DC jobs, and he now gets a chance to be on Tennessee's defensive play call with the, uh, with Brian Callahan, um, as the head coach. Uh, so we'll see how that goes for the Titans. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk about is, um, uh, Boston College's uh, head coach leaving, uh, Jeff, uh, Hefley, is that how you pronounce it? Uh, Hefley? Um, I hope that's how you pronounce it. I said Hefley, like Greg Hefley from the Diary of Wimpy Kid books. Um, I apologize for the mispronunciation if I, if I'm not. Hefley, um, leaves Boston College to be the, uh, Packers defensive coordinator. Now, um, he runs a different kind of defense than Joe Barry, because uh, I did see that a lot of people um, like the hire. Uh, I think one of the things I saw is that he runs more, I think, press coverage. And because the Packers just will be playing like zone, I guess, with Barry. So I know Packers fans really liked that. Um, so, you know, I mean, listen, I guess he jumped on the opportunity. He's like, oh, I can get a coaching job in the NFL. I'm going to take that right away. Cause, uh, and I just saw on the comment on the post I was looking at, uh, they're like, oh, I guess he's abandoning us. Um, but, uh, yeah, um, you know, the Packers, and this, that's something big, you know, because the Packers, that was kind of the weakness of the team. You know, I mean, the, listen, the offense was up and down all year. You know, the defense – but the offense eventually, like, found its groove at the end of the season to get to the playoffs. The defense, I mean, you know, he gave up 30 points to the Panthers, and then they didn't score a point the last two weeks of the season. You know, I mean, they needed to change something there. Now, me personally, I actually thought Joe Barry did enough to keep his job. I honestly didn't think Matt LaFleur was going to fire him or get rid of him. And um, they did. They let him go. And, uh, you know, now they bring um, bring in the, uh, the head coach from Boston College, Halfley. And, um, or Hayfley, or how, again, however you pronounce it, um, again, apologize for the, the, uh, the mispronunciation if I'm not saying it right. Um, but, um, you know, it, it, if, uh, you know, he comes in and he does his job, I mean, listen, the, I mean, the Packers, they're going to be a good team next year. I mean, they should, I mean, the offense, Jordan Love again now, year two being the starter, another year with the young receivers and, um, you know, the, the Packers have talent on defense. They do. It's just they need the right man to, the right person to, you know, put them in the, get them on the right track. And, um, you know, we'll see if that can happen here. Um, so, but I, but from what I saw, it seems like, you know, on, at least on social media, uh, people like to hire. So, um, but now we look at, the landscape here and there's only one coaching job left and that is the washington commanders now again i heard i i and i i people other people probably heard this too uh when kevin burkhart said that ben johnson was the favorite to get the commander's job he's no longer available he's staying with the lions you know what are the commanders going to do 
because you still got Belichick out there. And it doesn't seem like anything's happening there. You still got Vrabel out there. Um, what are they gonna What are they gonna do? I don't know. I don't know. Um, it's just gonna be odd that Belichick and Vrabel might not have jobs. And I understand with some people with Vrabel saying, "Well, he only he's only won, you know, two playoff game or yeah, two playoff games." Um, you know, it's. Uh, you know, it's it's not like he's had this great he had great success in the playoffs. I mean, the Titans make the playoffs, but they well the last couple of years not so much. But it's not like they really have that much success um, once they get there. But I don't know. I mean, I still think he's a good coach. You know, um, Titans were the one seed a couple of years ago, even though I think they were kind of a little bit of a fraudulent one seed. But still, like they were the one seed. You know, again, like, they made it all the way to the AFC Championship game the, the first year that Mahomes won the Super Bowl. You know, like, he's had success. Um, it's just they, you know, he hasn't been able to get them to the uh, to the Super Bowl. And recently, again, the playoff success, uh, he has had success, but, like, the recent success, not so much. Um, but I, 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 st- I don't know. I still think he should, you know, get a job. I mean, what, what that's it? Um... I don't know. But we'll see. I mean, there's one spot remaining. And uh I don't know. We could we might see Vrabel and uh and Belichick, you know, not coaching next year. Which is it's gonna be strange. More so for Belichick. Cause you thought like a team would just, you know, immediately snatch him up. But I guess not. I, I guess like you know, with the, the I guess with him wanting control still I guess maybe that again that might have uh, you know scared some teams off, scared the Falcons off, I guess, because they went and they hired Raheem Morris. So it's odd, but yeah, I mean that's that's kind of where we're at right now. Uh, Belichick and Vrabel, we might be, we not we might not be seeing them on the sidelines next year. So, um, but there's one spot remaining. So, I, but again, like something could come out and a head coach loses their job. It, out of nowhere you know and and then that opens the door for him but i don't know if that's going to happen um so i don't know we'll just have to wait and see but it's uh definitely an interesting uh definitely an interesting time um especially now if they end up not getting anything so um so that's pretty much it uh, let me know what you guys think about the recent uh, hires. Uh, the Packers, you know, getting a new DC. Seahawks, new head coach. Uh, the Titans, their new DC. Let me know if you have any uh, comments on that. So, when we come back from our final break of the show, we'll talk about a team that maybe should have changed head coaches, but they can't uh, for reasons. Um, we're going to talk about the Jets behind the scenes because uh, there was some stuff that's come out uh, from the Athletic on what went on throughout the season, uh, stuff involving Robert Sala. Um, we'll get into all that um, when we come back from our final break of the show. So, with that being said, stick around, and we'll be right back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. <laughs> 